What's good, y'all? So, those who've been following me for a while know I did a video a while back called The Most Successful Lies Guys Tell, breaking down the bullshit we feed and the nutritional facts of each one. But the list was so extensive, I couldn't fit them all into one video, so now's as good a time as any. Might as well pick up where we left off, shall we? Like when he says, I ain't your ex, so don't make me pay for his mistakes. That's something I ain't even do. See, most time when a girl compares her new dude to her ex, it's because she's experiencing what I like to call fuckboy deja vu. Meaning, yes, by his actions, him and her ex are the Doublemint twins. They're exactly the same. What he really means in this case is, me and your ex read from the same fuckboy manual. So even though you've seen this chapter before, I need my chance to fail you all over again. When he hits you with that, hey, what's good? I'm just now seeing your text. What he's really saying is, of course I ain't see your text because I got tunnel vision on that vagina and the vagina don't clock in until this weekend, so of course, replies to your text is going to take a couple days off. Simply put, if you want to text or talk to him, it's going to cost you some ass in the near future. Otherwise, you asking him to work for free and ain't no indentured servants around here, so uh... Oh, here go one of my favorites. You on birth control, right? Oh shit, we good. Because I just got tested and I know I'm straight, so we don't need no condom. What he really means to say is, well, the last girl I smashed raw said she went to the gynecologist, but that was back in middle school. And the one before that, well, I ain't asked no questions, but my dick made it out alive, so we good. For some reason, nobody talks about this, but dudes are bad about some secondhand STD testing. Our hard penis will make us so dumb, we'll bet our whole life on another girl's scouts on her. Oh, here go one. Whenever you ask him where you at, and he says, on my way back to the crib, shit, what's happening? What he's really saying is, I'm already at the crib, and if you want some dick on demand, you can come meet me. But if you're on your period or you just want somebody to talk to, then I'll hit you back in a couple of days when I get home. All right, y'all, this is the last one, and every dude done told this lie. Whenever he say, shit, I don't care what you do with your pussy. You can fuck whoever you want. You ain't my girl. I don't care what he say. It's a lie, lie, lie. It don't mean he gonna stop fucking with you, but let you so much as go to a prayer meeting with another dude. It's gonna crush his ego into powder dust, and he gonna judge you for it. So if a man ever tells you that bullshit, just know what he's really saying is, hey, I can hand on my dick like a course syllabus on the first day of school, but if what you choose to do with your pussy involves another man, you a hoe and I will not wife you.